This is the Is Your Education Station. This is the first year for Indiana's near universal school choice voucher program. New State's government reporter Garrett Berquist takes the program's temperature. State lawmakers this spring got rid of nearly all the limits on who is eligible for those school vouchers. Depending on who you ask, those changes might already be affecting enrollment numbers. The organization that represents Indiana's private schools says some schools anecdotally report enrollment bumps. Generally speaking, we're hearing that there has been increases in enrollment. Not necessarily universal, but pretty consistently schools are showing increases. Beginning this year, the only requirement for any child seeking a school voucher is that their family makes no more than 400% of the amount to qualify for free or reduced price meals. That's a little more than $220,000 a year for a family of four. Organizations that represent traditional public schools say it's too soon to say how much this affects enrollment. State enrollment figures won't be available before mid-September. Public education uh, in Indiana is part of the school choice options here in the state of Indiana. Uh, if, if you actually look at the numbers based on total student population in the state, uh, public education is literally the number one choice of parents with uh, right about 90, 92 percent. State records show 355 private schools are participating this year. All but roughly a dozen are religiously affiliated schools. More than 52,000 students used choice vouchers last year. Less than 30% of them came from families that made less than $50,000 a year. And 64% of voucher users had never attended a public school. Our uh, rates of serving students of poverty, our rates of serving different ethnicities and racial backgrounds are higher than the general uh, population in the state of Indiana. And they pretty much mirror the public school in their particular areas. Both Elsesser and Taylor say you should base your decision on whether or not to use a choice voucher on what is best for your child's specific academic needs. This year's debate over school voucher eligibility is unlikely to be the last. Elsesser says he wants lawmakers to get rid of the income limit during next year's session. At the State House, I'm Garrett Bergquist for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.